guys, life moves on, right? We're all making progress toward different goals, you know, whether it's a running goal or a life goal. Like, hopefully our fitness is advancing as runners, uh, but just in the larger context of life, Michael's life is moving forward too. True Love just picked up a high chair for him, so stay tuned for that. Who knows, maybe he'll even eat some food in it. Michael's my little seven month old. All right, time for a run. Gonna go figure out this uh, question, this mystery between the Vaporfly and this Solomon SG6 shoe. Fascinating guys, fascinating. Uh, okay, the question of the day is coming up real quick. Stay tuned, I just tested both, both shoes, the Solomon S-Lab Sense 6, which I would basically place in the category of a cross-country spike. If, if you guys ran cross-country in high school, maybe college, it feels like a cross-country spike when you're wearing it. And then this guy, the Vaporfly, 4% flying it. Um, this feels like running on a pillow compared to the Solomon, and it feels uh, like you're very high up off the ground, a little narrow in the uh, midfoot, and um, let's just say I kind of almost rolled my ankle in it just now a second ago. I didn't get it on camera, but, uh, well, maybe I did. Anyway, give me, I gotta get back home to the family, to eating. I'm about to pass out. I haven't been drinking enough water today. Okay, I'll give you my thoughts back at the uh, back at the shed. Okay. You can translate I'm that home. the bottom. <laughs> I'm home. Okay, the run was good. All right, true love. Let's see what you can. Okay, my eyes are closed. <laughs> Your where, kiss. Where do I go? Like sweat on my lips. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Look down. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Just to give you an idea. Hello. Well, Hello. Isn't it beautiful? And where is Precious Michael? I was just talking about Aww. him to everybody, and they want to see, I dropped a hint to everybody about, they want to see the high chair. Oh, yes. In okay. a minute. Okay. Cause... With Michael in it. Oh, yes. Possibly eating food. Oh. This is the sir. lie. Well Not done. Oh too. yeah. I, think I should have woken him up by five, but mm. now I didn't, and I want to enjoy dinner. So yeah, go. That's fair. See what happens. Then Ta we'll know. Taco night. Oh, I need this after what? running and filming all those videos today. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Did you do three videos today? Two. Still. I know. I'm tired. Mm. I'm tired. Mm. Refuel time. Mm -hmm. Ooh. What do you think? Michael, what do you think? <gasps> it's a new thing for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Pink>. <laughs> oh, hi. Now wait a sec. You 
got a new high chair. What do you think? There's the new high chair. Oh. All right. Will he eat? Will he eat? That is the question. Oh, yum. <laughs> it's good. It's good, booger boy. Come here. Got a little booger right there. That was hilarious. He's like, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm laughing. Yeah, what tacos and michael isn't he precious oh oh i'm so full i can barely talk all right guys before we dive into these shoes that's right it's coming nine months ago i said this goal number three if i hit 400,000 vertical feet i think i can reach number three that is win a race i want to win a race remember in that vlog last year i got lost with a mile and a half two miles to go in a half marathon in highlands ranch Boo! I was not pleased. The course was not marked well. So, goal number three is to win a race in 2018. That's right. I want to win a race in 2018. I've come very close, and in theory, I actually already have won a race. Here's some footage from that day. That was a 50K at Copper Mountain at 10,000 feet above sea level. And basically, I crossed the finish line in the moment in second. However, evidence came out on Strava. And by the way, let's connect below on Strava. My, my, my profile's down below. It turns out that first place actually cut the course. Not intentionally. He got. It looks like he got lost. So I actually did end up winning that race. However, I want to win a race outright. Before we dive into discussing the, both of these shoes, uh, I first just want to say thank you for subscribing. You guys are incredible. And if you're enjoying the content, if you're enjoying some of the shots that I'm able to capture for you, specifically in the running environment, uh, make sure you subscribe. I, just so you know, I publish a new video, sometimes multiple videos like today. I'm publishing two every single day. So I'm here for you. I'm here to try and bring you as much good information about gear as possible. I'm here to inspire you, hopefully, and of course, to answer your questions down in the comments. So you guys are incredible. You're blowing my mind, and there's a lot of new people joining. Welcome. I wish I could shake everyone's hands, but I can't right now. But maybe someday, maybe someday. You never know. Maybe we meet at the uh, Chicago or Boston or New York City Marathon someday. I don't know. I don't know. Bottom line, thank you. If you are a Nike Vaporfly fanboy, like I kind of am now, you know this shoe is fast and it feels really, really good. And I've been wearing it a lot. Go check out all those videos in the upper right hand corner. But it's a road shoe, it's not a trail shoe. And so today I was literally putting it on, on the trails and testing to see how it would handle on the corners and the uphill especially, to see, see this shoe has no traction. There's no lugs on the bottom. <sighs> it breaks my heart just a little bit that there's no lug action, just a teeny tiny little bit, but I get it. I get it, Nike. I get it, Phil Knight. I get it. You're trying, to, you're trying for a very fast road shoe, but in my case, I am trying to run fast on the trails. So in comes the Solomon S-Lab Sense 6 SG, which stands for soft ground, meaning it's designed for uh, running in mud and running on softer trails and like I mentioned earlier it feels like a cross-country spike it's a great shoe fast shoe feels entirely different than this shoe and I will say that in the I, I was practicing it over like a quarter mile part of the course and basically this thing felt amazing the vapor fly felt amazing however I was slipping on the corners this shoe felt very um, slightly stiff, didn't feel as comfy, uh, and but the traction was there. 
So I felt fast. I felt ridiculously fast in this shoe, but this guy had the better traction. I don't know what shoe to wear. I don't know. I, I actually have, I, I honestly don't know. I don't know. I haven't come to, to a conclusion as to which shoe I should wear. Bearing in mind, I want to run fast. I want to win or attempt to win. And which shoe is going to get me across the finish line in one piece and the fastest. Capiche? So the question of the day becomes, which shoe do I wear in a half marathon on trails? Since I'm racing in about 12 days, that's right, type racing down below if you made it this far and thank you for sticking around this long. It means a lot. It means a lot that you're caring about these videos, you're watching for so long, and you're commenting. And I am doing my best. I'm struggling a little bit, but basically morning and evening, I am hopping on the computer and answering your questions, dialoguing with you. So make sure you go back if you have time. I know you're busy, but if you have time, go back and check some of the older videos over the past five days. And maybe I answered your question or, got, you know, responded to your comment down below. So again, racing down in the comments, racing. That is the keyword of the day. Whew. 12 days to go. All right, now at the end of this video, there's gonna be an end screen that pops up that connects to another video about this vapor fly, so stick around for that. It's coming up in like 15 seconds. Seek beauty, work hard, love each other.